Rajan and I'm a neonatologist. Children's Hospital of Michigan's NICU is a level four uh, NICU, which is the highest level of neonatal care, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. That means it can take care of um, newborn babies with all kinds of critical illnesses and who are premature, you know, right up to the lowest gestational age of 22, 23 weeks. And it has multiple neonatologists, a lot of pediatric subspecialists, pediatric um, uh, radiologists, neuroradiologists, and of course, NICU nurses, respiratory therapists, pharmacists, dietitian, occupational and physical therapists who provide um, developmentally appropriate care for the newborns. That's our team. Reasons for babies needing NICU care is prematurity. So when babies are born before their due date, whether they are late preterm or extremely preterm, 22, 23 weeks, they need to be in the NICU for, for many reasons, but essentially until all the organ systems mature and they're able to breathe, feed, and do all the things a full-term baby can. So that's one big reason. The other reason is term-born infants who have certain birth defects for which they need surgical care you know, examples of abdominal wall defects, something called congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Um, infants who are born with heart defects, which need surgery right in the newborn period to, um, to help them uh, survive. So, so all the cardiac surgery and pediatric surgical um, infants also get admitted to the children's hospital, again, because it's a level four. And the Fourth other big group is infants who've had some trouble during the process of birth and um, have a condition called birth asphyxia. So they may need neurocritical care, cooling therapy, and monitoring of their brain injury. So they also come to the children's hospital. It's an extremely stressful time for, for the families too, when they have a sick baby who's um, in the NICU with a lot of technologic support, machines, tubes, IVs. And so the biggest suggestion is that to, to know that there is a large team of providers who really care for their infant and who are there to also provide support to them. And uh, so they are, they're all there, they need to draw on that. And the other thing is to stay involved in the infant's care, ask questions, get information, and be part of the, the decision-making process of the care of the infant as much as they can. So the Children's Hospital of Michigan NICU is a completely outborn unit, so we don't have deliveries at the Children's Hospital. So we get newborn babies who are born in, in NICUs, nurseries, women's centers, birthing centers throughout Metro Detroit if they need a higher level of care, if they need NICU support, then they come. They are transported in mainly by our transport team, by Panda. And uh, through much of Metro Detroit, we get referrals from Ohio, from Toledo. We get some from further out in the state. So they come from different nurseries and hospitals. And the other sources, we do get newborn babies uh, who come back after discharge from the birth hospital and they have a new problem, either jaundice or breathing difficulty or an infection, and they come to the emergency room, then also we do readmit those babies into the NICU.